As one learns to accept the wisdom that comes from above, the result will be a change of character. And as we consider some of the character traits that one will gain from a pursuit of wisdom, let us first begin by contrasting them with the negative character traits of one who rejects divine wisdom. What we're going to see today is a list that the wise man Solomon gives us of seven abominations. He tells us in Proverbs 6 verses 16 through 19 that there are six things which the Lord hates, yes seven, which are an abomination to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. A heart that devises wicked plans, feet that run rapidly to evil. A false witness who utters lies, and one who spreads strife among brethren. Haughty eyes are an abomination to the Lord, therefore the wise man will be humble. The wise man is clear in connecting pride with sin. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of wicked, or the lamp of the wicked, is sin, Proverbs 21.4. Pride causes one to seek to elevate self, while the scriptures teach that we should be humble enough that any praise we receive is not from ourselves, but from others. Let another praise you, and not your own mouth, a stranger, and not your own lips, Proverbs 27.2. Pride also blinds one to his own sins. Who can say, I have cleansed my heart, I am pure from my sin? All men have sinned, Romans 3 and verse 23, and all are in need of repentance. And those who deny this in their arrogance, they deceive themselves, as the Apostle John tells us in 1 John 1 and verse 8. Therefore, we must be humble if we are going to follow the ways of wisdom. Secondly, a lying tongue is an abomination to the Lord. Therefore, a wise man will be honest. Solomon says elsewhere that lying lips are an abomination to the Lord, but those who deal faithfully are his delight, Proverbs 12 and verse 22. And as lying is an abomination to the Lord, the righteous man hates falsehood, Proverbs 13:5. And one who is following after God's wisdom will not be like many in the world who are truthful only when it is convenient, but are more than willing to compromise their integrity in order to enrich themselves. The wise man says it is better to be poor than to be a liar, Proverbs 19.22. Next we see hands that shed innocent blood are an abomination to the Lord. Therefore the wise man will be merciful. Solomon says that a man's discretion makes him slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook a transgression, Proverbs 19.11. This verse is not about one condoning or tolerating sin, but rather that the wise man will desire a sinner's repentance and be willing to forgive. Even when it comes to one's enemies, though, men of bloodshed hate the blameless, but the upright are concerned for his life, Proverbs 29.10. The trait of mercy ought to become so ingrained into one's character that he will not only be merciful to his fellow man, but will even have regard for the life of his animal, as Solomon states in Proverbs 12 and verse 10. Next we see that a heart that devises wicked plans is an abomination to the Lord. Therefore the wise man will keep his thoughts pure, a man's character is rooted in his heart, as in water, face reflects face, so the heart of man reflects man. From the heart a flow comes from the springs of life, Proverbs 4 and verse 23. Therefore the wise man will guard his heart from wickedness. Solomon says the desire of the righteous is only good, but the expectation of the wicked is wrath, Proverbs 11:23. Next we see that feet that run rapidly to evil are an abomination to the Lord. Therefore, the wise man will seek to do good. There are two problems with the wicked man here, his direction toward evil and his carelessness. Notice it says he runs rapidly. In regard to direction, Solomon says that the way of a wicked man is crooked, but as for the pure, his conduct is upright. Elsewhere, he says that a man of understanding walks straight, and the highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who watches his way preserves life. Solomon then states later on, better is the poor man who walks in his integrity than he who is crooked, though he be rich. 
But besides going in the wrong direction, the wicked man is also careless. In contrast, the wise man will be careful and consider how he walks. A wise man is cautious and turns away from evil, but a fool is arrogant and careless. A quick-tempered man acts foolishly, but the one who is in control of his emotions will act with wisdom. Friends, we thank you for joining us for our program today. We encourage you to join us tomorrow as we continue in this study of wisdom. Thank you.